Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So this is an example of an automated public transport system in Starbase. Uh, this one here is at a development station. Uh, the YOLO, YOLO, I can't say it, YOLO, guide the ships while the signal receiver unit, the black yellowish device handles navigation by receiving signals from small towers at the landing pads. Finally, rangefinders help for a smooth landing. So it's actually really complex sounding. So before we hit play here, you can see that there's blue wires here. There's some yellow wires. And you can see it looks like the blue wires might be doing certain electricity. Maybe the yellow wires are some sort of fuel probably. Uh, I'm guessing these are probably like thrusters here and there uh, to help it. So let's hit play here. Okay, so those look like they might be side thrusters here. That's pretty cool. So you can see the wires everywhere. And uh, from the frequently asked questions, one of the cool things about them is if you were to sever it, like a uh, close-up, harder to do it apparently far away. They pre pretty much have a really good, uh, I guess, durability to them. They don't just kind of just snap at the, the you know, the, the hit of a, a weapon. But uh, apparently uh, they're more of a close range. You can disable a ship or parts of a ship. Uh, taking uh, aim at some of these wires, which is kind of cool. Imagine you're fighting, you know, this big armada, you know, this big huge ship, right? Battleship. And all of a sudden you're able to cut the power to the, the weapons or something like that. That would be pretty incredible. So you can see here. Uh, so I think this is part of the navigation, that thing right there. But you can see here, this is for the laser uh, to find it. So this might be... Yeah, that's really cool, the laser. So that that's a thruster. These, I think, are the laser guiders here then, probably, because they do look pretty similar. And uh, it does look like the thruster, yeah, right here is connected. Well, maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to tell. And uh, look how insanely big the structure here is. It's really awesome. I really love it. So here, yeah, you got the uh, little, you know, they're probably like stabilization thrusters, things like that. It does very basic movements. Oh, yeah, you can see them shooting off right here right now. You can see them coming off from down there. So that's really cool. I wish I could see a little bit more of those. But, uh, yeah, the, the stations, a lot of them are, like, really large in size. And a player can build these eventually. At launch, uh, players won't be able to build stations themselves. You'll be able to start on a station, build your ship, leave, like, a safe area, basically, where other players can't kill you. And then you can venture off and you can make a faction, I believe, at that point or some sort of organization. And um, from there, you can go ahead and... Uh, Harvest, mine, build, and find other players and kick their butt, basically, which is pretty cool. I don't know what they're going to do for long-term survivability when it comes to things like, you know, you your, your faction or clan or whatever builds a big base. You have to, you know, can somebody literally come in as a suicide kind of drive by and take a lot out of the base? Or is there some sort of shield system going to be in place eventually to, you know, maybe protect them to just give them a bit of a cool down, you know? Because... You know, you guys are all over space. Imagine all of a sudden your base is under attack and it's like, er, er, er. would you have some time to get back to it or would it be just gone before you can even think of getting there? It's not even a, there's no point even going back. So I, I have no clue how any of that's going to work, of course. That's a long way uh, yet, but yeah, this is pretty cool. And uh, keep in mind, this is, you do programming for this. So you literally have a programming system where you uh, put lines of code in and you, give it instructions and so you you know you automate the whole process and uh, yeah so you could do this easily to a ship that goes all the way to another station uh, far away from my uh, knowledge uh, from my understanding I should say <laughs> but yeah really really cool system and looking forward to this game a lot and it's hopefully coming out this year um, that's that's the developers uh, Hope as well. <laughs> uh, 2019 is where it's at. There might be a possible for an early uh, alpha, basically. But I think the developers say the first uh, potential, like you can throw money at them, will be uh, for the early access on Steam. And it's going to be a buy to play game. I'm thinking it's going to probably be, you know, $30, $40. But I, I, you know, don't, don't, don't judge based on that, you know. Um, but uh, I think you'll get in for probably around $30 or $40 or so. 
and uh, it's buy to play. So even though it's an MMO, you don't pay a subscription. They might consider cosmetics down the road, but it's not something they're caring about right now. They're definitely not doing things like loot boxes, etc. Uh, in fact, during their frequently asked questions, they were very disgusted on the thought of it so i thought that was really really cool they have a large development team like 60 some odd people uh they have like more than a dozen programmers <laughs> it's it's a pretty amazing you know team and they're very very open up uh, uh so anyways uh if you like videos like this i'm gonna go and if they share more videos over time i will analyze them talk about them I probably won't know what the hell I'm talking about for most of them, but uh, we can just enjoy them and uh, maybe I'll give you some fun timbits that I have read and uh, you guys can see a bit more of uh, Starbase when uh, they get shown. Anyways, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.